make we understand whether na lie she they lie on top of prophet jeremiah whether na lie she they lie on top of the church make we understand we here we know they support anything 110 percent like that until the truth come out moving on today we are now talking about the last meeting which I hope there is another meeting after this. So I'm still searching Berekate family to see if they had another meeting because here I'm trying to show you why I think that Berekate family or the boss himself who is in charge of this still has some form, has integrity when it came to her, him handling the case of Ruth. Now, it, these are people that are dealing with human rights issues right here. And I think Ruth Matthews' case is... is, is, is among the many cases and many stories he might know over the years of him handling such case so that's why i was i told the person that called me at first when this whole thing started to make sure she gets to bereket the family to get the real gist of what happened and how the case ended but for me to know how the case really did end i would have to watch tons and tons of more videos on their platform to see how they ended it off better still if you have the contacts of the woman um those other people bloggers can call her personally and find out how the case ended in bracket the family to get the full gist of uh, this particular situation like you know already i deal with facts and not with sentiment and we try to make sense of what is trending uh, right here so welcome once again and let's look at the last part i would think of this episode after the intro Come, okay now i don't want i don't intend to waste most of your time now let's get this straight the focus of this particular study or this particular analysis is on finding the child testimony but for you to talk about finding the child testimony you have to look at the situations around the case now i've read many comments of people saying cctv 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 now we have to know that based on this particular case and the report at the time that this thing happened she was not staying in the premises of that particular church or whatever happens there i don't know what to call it let's call it what it is being called a messy land okay so she was not staying in there she was staying outside the premises even though according to her she said that the security person told her this area now jeremiah get them but i, I think it makes sense when in you know, an area that is dominated by one particular person to say that okay he owns this area if she got that report from the security man that asked her to go stay there because according to her she first stayed inside and after her money expired she was really boxed up for that particular meeting and encounter she went to go and stay outside now you know logically i i i agree with the boss of bereket i don't know his name that's why i call him the boss i agree with the bereket the family boss when he asked her what really because at the first instance of her meeting he asked her what took you there she talked about watching him on tv and talked about her financial issues which he gave a logical explanation he himself gave a logical explanation as to why her money could be getting missing which could be all these scams that happen in the market but not looking at that looking at the consistency of why she went there i am thinking in my opinion because she talked about her financial issues but her son came and talked about the fact that oh she he watched him on tv where he she he made people that were crippled to work and later i'm going to be looking at them um, break at the family's analogy about this whole miracles and shenanigans stuff that happen in churches which sometimes some of you are not sensible enough to see them happen or would i say see some of these tricks happen but later we will discuss that in a different segment entirely right here on the channel so you could see right here that it could make logical sense for me to infer that the main reason why she went there 
may not may not have been because of her financial issues but bef- because maybe she wanted Jeremiah Motufufuin to give her the ability to walk again i'm just saying based on what the son herself said that he could make people walk and all that give her a microphone my dear now you watch the tv yes what do you see we make you ch- say make your mama go to the church who can yeah. carry microphone open my talk to me uh-huh. the way the prophet is to do the miracle what you like which miracle you don't do with the tune sweet you say it be like say if my mama go he go the miracle go go favor her because you make someone that cannot work work okay and you you won't make your mama work yes. now I make you advice and let's appreciate this so i'm just giving an assumption right here not a fact that i'm stating because according to her fact of what she stated she went there because her money was getting missing and she wanted a solution to that okay but of course your money is getting missing so you have to spend more money so that maybe he will come out and tell you that hey woman ah you know your money is getting missing ah that's your money that is getting missing it is one demon from your village or one demon from your father's side or whatever that come and take the money hey maybe after getting the information and then he will pray for you and everything will be fine so let me assume that that was why she went there now going further seeing the inconsistency in that okay let me keep that aside talking about the kid so if everyone is demanding for cctv footage if you have watched the first part of this video where i talked about the whole idea of this thing did not happen during more of like a church program if it happened during a church program or church service it must have been recorded if it was based on the program that she went to she did not meet him at they did not have that encounter at that program and if they had that encounter at that program the church would have intentionally themselves cut that part out because they stream their programs or such programs a day after so they take time to edit it and present to the world what they want them to see and enter the church yes you should say una no forget your le- other brother for his moto as una drop we no forget them who hold up who hold them for hand enter the premises me now you so you should say una enter with your junior brother yes remember say god they watch you you understand so what did be the name of that one where 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 they talk where the thief? Are your testimony? Are your testimony? So, madam, tell us now. As soon as I enter, you pay eighteen thousand naira. They give you t-shirt. Then we waiting can happen again quickly. They, let's. They say we want to see man of God. Mm. When we, I wait, we not see. They not greasy us. Let me see man of God. I say my money go come waste like that. I been mean, Mona, give me the money. Say no wait. The day when you come with the man of God can't see the children, say Amanda, now you get this children. Eh, he no believes in me get this children. No. Nice. He, if, after Christ, your children they there when they ask you yes, that question. All of us, all of, all of Were the you children. there when the pastor was asking her? Yes. Yes. How you take ask her? Talk to my microphone. He said that um, who is the owner of these uh, four children? I said that I'm the one. Then my mom said that uh, she's the one that has uh, the uh, four children. He can't talk with me again. Say, are you sure? Then my mom said yes. After that, what happened? Then in the evening of his day, we just did the uh, junior one. Okay. So. Mom, yeah. are they here? When you can't discover say you're picking loss, what will be the first thing where you do? I can't just shout, they cried. See, my picking, it don't lost too. Nobody will help me uh, check and at all. Everybody ignore you. Everybody ignore me. Even the security, the when they're in charge of that post, when you play with the picking, in name na Juliet. Mm. I see go meet now. This picking play with you today. Oh. Where the picking? And I saw all of the girls you said I talk immediately. Mm. They don't even come to anything. Hmm. Man of God, come come. Oh, yeah, my uh, carry and come out. Say, uh, in, me once prayer in ministry. Say, my picky no loss too. And they push me come. So out. when you come go and go DPO place, which police station you go? Nah, Ibrimede station, police station for all the so states. So when you come go, what thing happen? Now the DPO shout say, Madam, if uh, now you they come collect this picky, say, hey, this kind of thing they for the church before. Oh, if your own comrades, congratulations. No. Yeah. So DPO said, talk so. DPO now he tell me now so he talk when mm. he call the shout. Mm. He can't call the man of God. Say Jeremiah, come here. Oh, if you they collect people, children, no, you do something. Sit down for grant. You can't go collect again, though. No. 
Give her a picking, no. Not be this one you can't go collect. Give her a picking. When DPO takes serious action, say you two go, you go make it lucky for his eyes, say, until you provide this picking, come out. You lock him? You not call lock him, oh. It, when he uh, the the remaya can't say if people come, but when he see consent come here that day so, mm. so he just he send that go meet a uh, DPO. The following day, DPO can't change my call come he say I am a suspect to the missing child. You are and, the suspect. Yes, to, to my own picking the gay when he lost. Now so DPO can't tell me they can't drive me come up for the church. Ah, if you be suspect, why they not arrest you? Mm. Are they see? What are they see? Yeah. Una they smell? What are they smell? Yeah. Even though my nose big pass on her own. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Are they call first PRO Frank Mba? Mm. If you no know pick, I call him IG. He mm. they reject my call. Mm. This one, they very important. They very important. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who is close to Frank Mba make you tell and say I they call him. He reject him again. How many times I don't call him now? Make a call on the third time. The first PRO. So DPO tell you say ah. Oh. So if your own picking call come out now, congratulations. That's what DPO tell me. I'm holding a slide, please, eh? Hello. Yeah, they hear you. I'm holding a flight. I can't talk to you now. I'm sorry. No problem. All right. Bye -bye. Mm. Well, I know so we get problem for this country, man. This might be like disturbance, Tora. Have you not seen the attitude where they talk to me? No, now. We don't know everything they don't say, don't discuss. This is not the normal attitude of Frank Mba. No, no, no. Look, say they don't make up their mind. Mm. But no problem. With or without them, we will. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> because the reason why I'm saying this right now is that if you are asking for a CCTV footage of that situation and she was staying outside, just imagine the street where you are staying right now in your home. Do you have a CCTV on your street? If she was staying in the premises, we would say that, of course, there needs to be a CCTV footage to show that, you know, how the entry goes and how the exit goes. Because if the, if the a, a place is big like that, there should be some form of beefed up security for these things not to happen. Okay. But forget about that video they made about the whole people coming there to dump a child because Ruth could not go there to go and keep her child. If she could pay her way all the way, they stay there for a week plus. How was she spending? How was she feeding it? And all of that. So I don't know if you understand. So I think she spent all that money and all that to meet him for something really important to her, aside the fact of money being her money is being missing. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying it's my opinion. But I wanted to watch this analysis or would I say the investigation that was carried out by the police, okay, with regards to what happened at that particular moment and where they got to dig out some other inconsistencies they notice in the situation I realize on give us update about this our sister we we carry cry come say her picking loss for inside Mercy City Church uh, and um, under the leadership of uh, pastor Prophet, oh sorry, Prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah of Mercy City. I realize on when I see, I know just agree to come on air. As a follow up on this matter, I realize on travel out of Kaduna to follow up this matter till they reach a minister. Let's appreciate it. But because of humility and commitment to serve the nation, deny himself all these other things, he go, he see, he witness, he intervene, he come back to report. Let's say. <laughs> if 
Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Honored President. Mm. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Brokata family. Good morning, Nigerians. Good Once morning, again. sir. Uh, my honorary president, we left uh, Abuja on Friday, even though we couldn't make it early. Mm. But uh, as God has it, we arrived safely around 6 in the evening. So at the time we arrived, Benin was it's late. So the first thing in the morning on Saturday, uh, called the AIG, who informed me that he was uh, in Bayelsa because of uh, Election. the situation on ground as the AIG in charge of the zone. So later I received a message from uh, the OC Antibias, who will be CSP David Okoro, X-Square, very diligent and professional officer. Hmm. Uh, ordinary president, when you talk that uh, once you travel, you will learn something. Mm. Okay. I agree with you 100%. Oh. In fact, 101. For the first time, IG Lizon agree with me. <laughs> ordinary president, as uh, we carry the complaint go there, like I said earlier, there was another complaint on ground. But the AIG the DC uh, CID zone, uh, DCP B song, and the CSP talk say the complaint of the other uh, complainant should be kept aside for now. Because what is before them, what is even more important is the child. Let us uh, first find out the circumstances surrounding the missing child. All the uh, people she mentioned, she alleged to have hands in the missing were invited, about 20 of them. All of them were interrogated, were questioned. They said there is part which to some extent, the our sister here were found not consistent with the truth. Okay, not consistent with not the consistent truth. with her story. With her story, sir. Okay, but still, the question that remains unanswered is: the child is missing. Uh, but make we understand the true circumstance will lead to the. You understand? Yes. Make we understand how the Peking take laws. Make we understand whether na lie she they lie on top of Prophet Jeremiah. Whether na lie she they lie on top of the church. Make we understand. We here we know they support anything one hundred and ten percent like that until the truth come out. Now, uh, Doctor Wadai, they call uh, make he, make a request something for in hand. I don't they try number the thing no go. Now the way the thing uh, don't enter my head. Make I quickly remember. Make I um, I don't get P A now. A P I get. Uh, my ordinary president. Yes, continue. Sir. In the course of uh, this investigation, mm. the husband mm. or as she put the father of the children mm. and his first daughter who is her stepdaughter mm. were invited mm. from their village uh, Igara, Igara mm. in Edo State. Mm. They came to the zone and they gave their statements. It was from there and part the of the statement shows say the stepdaughter, stepdaughter who is 18 years follow her follow go to her church. Go church. And according to because IG is on the drag us uh, uh, that, like this. Uh -huh. mm. we fit, if we fit, they explain this thing to the end of the program. Uh -huh. The contact say <laughs> that 18 years old girl follow. And when I know say our sister here, no mention say she, girl, her. she carry adult follow body. Yeah. Yeah. And according to what I hear, now right from when they did, and I begin to receive update. 
because every single step I realize on they update me and I happy for that now the lady in question that adult that her stepdaughter according to what I hear I know they dear she confirmed say then they dear then all of a sudden one woman come inside Kekena Pep Come, they ask of where then they say Indomie. I tell you, am I? Yes, uh, the only uh, thing that I want to put uh, oh, yeah, you, 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 uh, Okay, okay, let me talk. Uh, yeah. so that, uh, what happened, uh, ordinary president, on that very day, she sent the daughter to go and wash, according to her. The, the, what, the what, stepdaughter? The stepdaughter. Mm -hmm. To go and wash what? And wash clothes, mm -hmm. according to her. But when the daughter came, she said no. Not the clothes she will send her to wash to go and grant pepe okay while the elder son emma like. sent him to go and uh, cook okay she uh, they left it was when they uh, they, they came back they discovered that uh, the oh, the second son triumph came with a mineral pepsi. a bottle of mineral yeah uh, yes now she the mother was asking a uh, triumph who gave you this mineral they said now one woman was asking for where to buy indomie she carried them go put for kk she that is their triumph and the general yes, that way lost way lost testimony mm. so the triumph came back they went to the the boy okay now mm. when i don't hear this version yes, make we hear from her why she not tell us the truth Madam, you hear what in them talk? Uh, yes, sir. No, open your mouth. Take microphone close to your mouth because your mouth is sharp. Uh, yes, sir. So why you not tell us say you carry your step sister, stepdaughter follow go to the church? I'm sorry for that, sir. Well, that is one. Number two, why you not mention going to one woman where you hear say she they ask for where then they say Indomie? And you will not talk, say you send triumph and testimony, with, and testimony to go and uh, what show, the woman. show her, even though she is denying. But she uh, uh, no, 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 okay. no, for you now. Nah, you now nah, they ask because make you know, be like say, would they intimidate you? Yes. So, why you not mention, say, your, your you hear, say, even if you know, they dear, but if you did, dear, confirm to us, say, one woman, nine, they go show where then they say, in domi we uh, triumph come back with the mineral where you collect even throw away the mineral out of annoyance when you ask of uh, uh, testimony why you not mention her here answer me i open eye for you no sir am i intimidating her not at all sir my own be say here not the truth yes sir we want and nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. No be, no be place to destroy anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. No be place to intimidate anybody. Yes, sir. And you cannot use us to destroy somebody. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So now talk by yourself. Waiting happen. I remember you even tell me which day be that say they offer you two million naira to settle this matter, but you no mention I'm on air. Which other thing you mentioned to me again? Will you tell me answer why I say why you no mention I'm on air? Now two things you tell me. One you tell me about two million naira. The second one I don't forget. Now see the same that two million naira. No, you get one other thing. Will you tell me where where I come the vex? Say why you no mention I'm on air? The two million naira on. I even tell you say who and who be witness when they offer you the two million naira. You just say the father of your children did the ban. Yes, sir. Uh, when they offer you two million naira. And then I don't forget the other one. No, no, you should tell that one. Elder. You know, wait, make Elder talk. Modern President, mm -hmm. uh, just like you said, it was after the whole thing that uh, some of these things start coming up. She told me in one of those times we are talking that uh, they offer her two million naira. Mm -hmm. They now said, is, is it that she take two million naira or the baby, which one? 
So I now who I was like offered to, her. Who made that offer to her? He said it was a member of the church because it wasn't direct with the the general overseer. Okay. So I was quarreling her why she didn't say it at the beginning of okay. the case. And uh, my own be saying she tell me say na time, no day. Upon all the time where I give her where she talk here. But today, time day, talk am. Any other thing where you know where you forget to mention because of time, no day. You have ten minutes. Tell us. Sir, I am sorry, hundred percent. I am forty because even myself, I blame myself. That on that fateful day, truly, I know DJ when the two women come. Now try on the come with raw body. See, with uh, that Pepsi. Immediately, I collect and say, where is testimony? He say, one woman. Come here, come carry kekena pay, carry and go. And I know come talk and for yes, sir. Now what he tell me be that when I can't find her, they no come and listen to me. They never call help me. Even look for the uh, anything. Even that day, I see uh, explain to the GO say my picking lost so all of them they know. I not see the two women face to face like this. I was told by my baby uh, triumph, sir. Okay, we we don't hear this one. I'm sorry, sir, for that. Sir, I'm talking In as much way. as with this explanation now, some people go talk say, "Eh, uh -huh. he not concerned the church, but he concerned the church yes. because yes. now within the premises." When I remember yes. that day where we day here, where I see the children come out, one go urinate. Yes. I say, make them go before she go to say, one go, one come, come, go, and go. I don't know what I want to understand. Yes, the woman come from outside is not enough excuse. Say the church hand no day inside. Thank you. Now, but I'm associated with this matter. For instance, uh, with, I don't know if she can still uh, tell us about one pastor, Emma, that she's uh, strongly suspecting to be the one behind the missing of her child. Uh, Obi Pastor Ima, and waiting be your relationship with Pastor Ima. Nice and messy city. Huh? Hello? Uh, nice and messy city now for, now we foresee each other for inside the... Inside the messy city? Yeah, uh, it's uh. in a, inside messy city. With nice idea now, I foresee her. Okay, hold on there. Uh. Vicarious liability. liability. Is still connect to the church. Yes. Vicarious liability. Barristoga. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, as then they talk, say a woman come from outside, come carry the baby. You know, say from the first day, I tell you, say me, I they watch Prophet Jeremiah. But this place, we know they bias. That one no means say the church no fee tell the woman make it come from outside, carry the baby. Baby? Yes, sir. And then how CCTV no go work? Yes, say the woman come from outside is not enough excuse. Say the church hand no day inside. Thank you. Na, but the my bottom line, president, the my president, mm. you know, say it's if say a car, the woman car will come, mm. you may not notice easily. Mm. But keke mm -hmm. to enter in, you notice how, how keke go and the go keke just like keke no get tinted, you know, no get tinted. Keke you enter know. empty, uh, the woman enter, enter empty. Em yeah. Come carry pick you follow body they come on follow body security. and security they there. Oh. Okay, make we no preempt the uh, outcome. Uh, uh, make we allow police. Uh, but my, my, my at least president. we have done point, justice to some point, extent. Yeah. There is something also we need to know. Uh, this uh, where she uh, she lives and where uh, the alleged this uh, incident happened. She resides outside the Mercy City. Uh, who give the, who direct her there? Madam, the place where you go stay, now outside the Mercy City. Now the, the chief security, now show me that place. Say, this place, all, uh, now Prophet Jeremiah get this place. So, Madam, you are safe here. Before I can't go inside Mercy City, can't go lodge for here for one week. When the money coins expire, I say, go back to your lodge. Now the chief security, sir, I don't know any place for worry. I'm a stranger there, Okay, sir. hold it. Let us not preempt the outcome of this matter. We go wait. We they put eye, and we must get justice Amen. for either Prophet Jeremiah or for her. Mm. Justice must be served yes. when it is still hot. Mm. 
not cold. Mm. Thank you very much. Now, if you listen to the policeman himself talk, it now begins to make sense that there were some things that were left out, which is not what I like myself as a person. You see, incomplete information can be equal to lie, depending on how you look at it, because how come did she did not mention? Now, let me assume this. Let me assume this assumption. So, because some people will now ask the question, does she have a husband? If you watch the video I played, I think in the first or the second part, you'll see someone that went there with Jeremiah Moto Vuyen's church for deliverance or whatever. The person, the man was carrying his child, the woman was carrying her own child, the, the child as well. And when they were about to deliver them, the child, the children were collected from them. And of course, later they got back their children, in my opinion. So what am I saying this right now is that domicile in that area is, is someone she has a connection with obviously maybe the father of these kids because no one has even asked about the father of the kids who is also residing maybe around that area you can tell me in the comments if um akukwedo igara is close to where delta um where Messi land is because in my opinion if that is the case then maybe i'm seeing a dysfunctional family right here that the woman is on her own with the kids and then the man that already has a child that is much older you know 18 you know i don't know if you're getting the point right here so did the man mar but we are not talking about the family right now because some people will now say that i'm trying to discredit the woman talking about her family and all that so let's talk about the child right now establishing that the child did not get missing inside the premises could be a good point why people should not be asking for maybe cctv but if the area where she was staying outside the premises like she mentioned that later she went outside to go and stay is where that particular child was missing is it logical for you to think that there will be a cctv watching everybody in that particular area to see what is going on right there just think about it yourself just be plain Even according to based on the case, it was discovered that as at that time she was over the sum of like two million naira or something, which of course she didn't come on air with. And I told you guys already that based on this particular case, the way bracketed family functions is that before you come on air for any particular, I know some things get to happen, you know, um, you know, like without being planned on air. But they have your information and have details about your issue before they allow you to come on air. So, of course, the person that is talking to you knows your situation. It's not as if when they tell you, yeah, tell your story or something, that you now start talking and everybody is just new to everyone. At least if it is new to everyone there, it is not new to the Bereket, the family boss himself who sits there and listens to the cases. So, understanding this particular premise, you see sometimes when they're having this conversation, he gets to say, but you told me this. Why didn't you say this on air? I don't know if you understand. So is she having some form of forgetfulness or she's, is she not? Because there's a way some things could happen, you see. If I want to make you really interested in my case, I'm giving a logical opinion right, right here aside her. Some people have called me. There was a time, if you are watching me, one particular prophet whom I've seen get involved in this particular case also or something, somehow, somewhere. There was a time he t someone texted me on, on, on or he texted me, or let me just say it, he texted me on Facebook and told me that, oh, I have evidence on a particular man of God that, you know, used the mother for rituals, blah, blah, blah. And I said, are you serious? Okay, I sent the person my personal number because I don't give out my personal number. You don't have access to me. I come here, I make content, you watch. If you don't like it, go. I don't have any personal conversations with you. Why? Because I don't expose people. I, I report on things I see out there already. Make sense out of them, piece them together. So when I was talking with the person, logically, I could see well that I'm talking to the same person that is trying to tell me about someone. So I told this particular quote-unquote man of God that... You are the same person talking to me and you are telling me about yourself. And the person was like, wow, you're really intelligent, blah, blah, blah. Why am I saying this? The person had to use that as a bait, use this particular information as a bait to gain access to me. Not even knowing that he's already on my case. He's already on my table. I'm looking at his case, but in a future time. You, so I told him that already I know about you and your person. I know about your case, but I'm yet to even look at you much later. Why am I saying this? Sometimes you might want to get people's attention if you understand what is their trigger. For me, if you want to get my attention or something that triggers me, I hate intimidation. I hate it to the core. So what is even triggering me to even get interested in this case and I'm going to find these things that are really, really inconsistent is because when she was arrested, I was like, no, 
this is wrong whether she was arrested or being kidnapped this woman is crippled let's not look at whether she's rich or whether she's poor or whatever because i saw some videos that were circulating about her home where she's living the living conditions and all that i don't know all we can talk about is what is on social media but you see getting good public sympathy is a very good thing as well okay but the thing is that let's just focus on the facts of the case i know the woman i saw based on the situation she is right now it's not okay she's crippled but i'm telling you there are some people that are handicapped that are doing better than people that even have two legs walking you are talking to an example right here but i don't you see that's why i don't talk about myself much most times because you don't understand where people come from if i'm coming from this angle right here i'm seeing it more of like she had to really paint an image or give bracket the family a story that was very very intriguing enough that he felt that this was worth talk, talking about on air and then it being looked at because even at this point where he was now questioning her personally about some other things which some people have taken out of context he still said at the end of the video that ah the picking laws for the church or the picking laws for the even at that is not as if jeremiah about the free in his safe or because the picking got lost around the church premises or something you know some people are involved the pastor mike and all that whom she now whom she, it was stated that she suspects not jeremiah again that um, you know they still have to look look into it and justice must be gotten but that part was not being played by the videos that were being circulated circulated online because i think that for a fact the Brigitte family boss himself seeks to get justice for everyone that comes on his platform or brings a case to him I don't know if you understand so what what point am i trying to make right here for you to understand again ruth's case and story seems a little bit incon inconsistent at first she said she was 32 years old and now she says she's 40 and then she was then apologizing that she's sorry that she missed out that detail because there's a way you can talk and then bring out the whole detail and it now begins to make sense because right now the story that i'm seeing right here is more of like the picture I'm painting in my mind, in my opinion, if you don't like it, it's okay, is that she is out there, staying on the outside, and now, now the, the question right now is, listen, this child got missing after she had met Jeremiah or Motufufuyin. Why is it that after she met Jeremiah or Motufufuyin, and he now said, ah, your kid, ah, this picky, you know, this and that, and he said something about the child, and then, you know, some attention was drawn to the child by him. Think about this. She was still staying there. Why? Just think about it for a moment. Of course, she's not from that area and all that, according to what she said. But you have finished seeing the man of God, and maybe he has prayed for you, maybe was it that what you were expecting to happen did not happen did he tell you about your situation that happened with regards to your um uh, money how your money were getting missing even after that and when you finish and that was your mission there after staying for two, one two weeks and later you now say the month why were you still staying there were you staying with your husband were you staying with your family or you were just hanging around why i don't know the reason why so it's logical for her to think that if this man says something specifically about this child and then the child got missing around the same premises maybe suspicion maybe people would say that he sent people to come and take the child people would say that but when there are no facts like this that's why it is as a mother and i understand this as a mother when you think about this like this you now start connecting dots analyzing and say oh if it be this jeremiah or if it be if it be him or because he ain't talk about my picking so if it be him contact this picking oh i don't know if you are getting the point so when i'm looking at this from this angle and i can now see why she would make that connection i don't know if you're getting the point because based on the story someone came on a keke na pep would the keke na pep just drive into the messy land i don't know how the messy land is i don't know nothing about them but would the keke na pep drive in and drive out think about it just think about it in a moment you understand which is that i don't know how their traffic there goes in goes goes by you get so if if, if it was a keke that came and then took them and say oh show me where they're buying domi and later the other child came without the little one it begins to make some sense you understand so talking about the security woman juliet and talking about you know it now it it it's it, 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 the whole thing now becomes confusing in the process 
So I understand the angle where she's coming from because this person of authority or this person that is well known talked about that child. So when she went to the DPO and the DPO said something like that again, it now became more obvious to her that maybe he is the one that sends people to come and take the child or maybe he's the one that took the child or something. <laughs> Yeah. 